let's create an example in my places. Now we are going to generate the KML file. If the KML link appears, just tap on it to download the file. But sometimes the KML link doesn't appear, or it takes some time to be generated. In that case, tap on the link button, copy the URL link into a new browser window, and at the end, append ampersand output equal KML. The KML file will be downloaded. The easiest way to import this file into iPlanMyRoute is through Dropbox, although it can also be emailed. Copy the downloaded file into the Dropbox Apps iPlanMyRoute folder. Open iPlanMyRoute in your iPhone or iPad and open the file from Dropbox. Here is the file we copied to Dropbox in the computer. Now let's change the color of the lines to differentiate them. Green for the second day. Red for the first day. And a custom color for the road stage. We can see the comments we answered in Google My Places. Labels can be relocated. Items can be searched and zoomed on by their name. Day 1. Let's change to Satellite View. Second Day. The Road Stage. Now we are going to edit the root. We unlock the root. Let's move some points. And insert a new one. We lock the root again. And fix some items, 
like removing intermediate distances. To export to KML tap on this button. The file has been sent to Dropbox. Let's see some features of I plan my route. If the altitude data doesn't appear, tap on this button. Turn the iPad to see data in routes. To import the KML file, we create a new map in Google My Places. Here is our modified file.